you'll see companion link synchronize and companion link setup on your desktop. Let's go ahead and double click on companion link setup to begin this and we'll choose our desired language which will be English and click next again. And our PDA here can be one of the Apple iPhones, a Blackberry, Palm OS, Windows Mobile, etc. I'm going to go ahead and choose Microsoft Outlook. And then if you click configure, our main option here is that our contact folder, we want to have it synchronized with the folder that we created in Outlook called Goldmine Contacts. We have default folders for calendar, tasks, and notes. This can be okay. And we can also look at auto synchronize here. We're going to have Goldmine synchronized with Outlook every 15 minutes. So I can set that option there. And then click OK. And then we're back to the handheld PDA settings. I can click Next. And now we decide which desktop application or PIM we want to synchronize with. Of course, our option here will be Goldmine. And then I can click Configure to configure those options. On our executable tab, we tell CompanionLink where our gold mine is located or installed, and this is correct. And then we input our user ID and password if we have one. You may need to ask your gold mine administrator if the gold mine file path is correct. Uh, once you have that determined as being correct, go ahead and click on the database tab to determine which gold mine database you want to use. And Companion Link is going to look at your gold mine and it's going to be able to determine which databases you have. I just have one, which is Goldmine SQL. That's good, so I can leave it. Now, just for a moment here, there's a ton of different tabs available in this database area, from filters and groups to additional contacts and notes. We're not going to go through all of these in our basic setup here. I'm going to go through a few that you really need to set and look at and decide on to have companion link be applicable and useful for you. So we're going to start with the filter group and we decided earlier on that we really don't want all of our contacts to go to Outlook. So I can select from this drop down here and I'm going to see all the filters that I have. And I created one called Send to Outlook, which is one I'll be using to determine which contacts are going to be going from Goldmine to Outlook. And then there's the Additional Contacts tab, whether you want additional contacts to go from Goldmine to your PDA or not. And I don't, so I'll leave this unchecked, but you can check it. And also, I can look at my datebook, datebook map. I really just want to see appointments and calls going. So I'm going to uncheck Next Actions, and I'll uncheck events. And then for my to-do map, the thing I want to go to my gold mine calendar, to my to-dos and outlook, are my to-dos and my next actions. So I can set those there. The last tab that I want to look at for this demonstration is the field mapping tab. On the field mapping tab here, we can choose which fields in Goldmine are going to go to which fields in Outlook. And perhaps most importantly for this are going to be our phone fields. And you can see here the default values for the phone field mapping. On the left side are going to be the fields in Outlook and on the right side are going to be the fields in Goldmine. If I look back to my Goldmine here I can see that my primary phone numbers here are Office, Mobile, and Other. And I'm going to want to make sure that those map up correctly in Outlook. So now in our phone field mappings here, our work phone is going to go to Office. That's good. Fax to Fax. Now our home phone here is going to Mobile, which doesn't make a lot of sense. So in the home phone Outlook, I can choose which field from Goldmine is going to go there or I can choose no mapping since I don't have a whole phone number in Goldmine. For the mobile in Outlook, I'm going to go ahead and choose the mobile that I've decided to call that in Goldmine. And you'll notice this is a alphabetical list so I can find it relatively easily. Now they have the basic settings done, I can go ahead and click OK 
which brings us back to my contact manager settings. This then completes my basic setup of companion link to synchronize with Goldmine and Outlook. I'll click next and finish basic companion link screen here. I'm going to next use my companion link category manager to decide what's going to go granularly from Goldmine to Outlook and vice versa. And I'm going to use my current profile and click next. Here in the category manager we can determine if sync for contacts, calendar, tasks, and notes is bidirectional which means it goes from Goldmine to Outlook and vice versa or unidirectional which means it goes from Goldmine to Outlook. My recommendation here is that Outlook contacts are going to be unidirectional, meaning they go from Goldmine to your PDA or to Outlook. The reason for this is that Goldmine has or can have strenuous entry requirements. So you fill out certain fields, etc. And so Outlook contacts or your PDA contacts should only be going from Goldmine to Outlook. So I'm going to click on Outlook contacts, I'm going to click application settings, and then I'm going to choose transfer method. And the transfer method I can say add Goldmine info to Outlook and then click OK. And you'll notice that our icon changes. We're going from Goldmine to Outlook. If you scroll down a ways here you can see our Outlook calendar is still bidirectional as well as our, our tasks and even our notes. Notes from Goldmine to Outlook a little bit different than what you might expect. The Goldmine notes are considered the knowledge base. So if we have this bidirectional, then knowledge base articles in Goldmine are going to be sent to Outlook's notes. Since this is alright, I'm going to go ahead and click Finish. I'm back at my, my main companion link setup and I can click Exit. On your Windows desktop now, you'll see in the lower right a companion link icon. If you do a right click on that, you can choose Synchronize to synchronize your Goldmine in Outlook. And you'll see Companion Link run through its process looking at the Goldmine contacts in Goldmine Calendar and Outlook Calendar, etc. And then when it's finished, you can click Complete Synchronization. And if I open up Outlook now, I'll see in my Goldmine contacts here the list of Goldmine contacts in Outlook. And in Goldmine, if you have anything in your Outlook calendar that wasn't there previously, you'll see those items on your Goldmine calendar. Also, if you do a right click down here, you can choose Companion Link Setup to go in and make any changes to the Category Manager or the settings. Thank you for watching my introduction to setting up Companion Link to work with Goldmine and Microsoft Outlook. This is Chad Smith, the publisher of the Goldmine blog. You can reach me at chad.smith at thegmblog.com. My phone number here is 248-506-5222. If you have any feedback regarding this video or things you'd like to see on the blog or additional Companion Link tutorials, and if you do decide to purchase Companion Link to synchronize your smartphone with Goldmine or any other device, you can use Companion Link discount code TB5222 for $5 off your purchase. Thank you and have a great day.